All teams consist of diverse individuals with a range of skills. However, we often overlook or are unaware of some of those skills. To better understand your group and gain a clear overview of team capabilities, I would like to show you a great team exercise called the Marketplace of Skills. In this exercise, all participants create their own market stall consisting of their skills and abilities and share it with the team. To get started, give each participant a large piece of paper and writing tools, or set up pre-made market stalls in an online tool. Show the team the market stall template and explain the three different sections. The main section of the stall consists of the relevant skills that the team member offers to the team. These are usually the team members' primary skills and the skills they use in their daily work. Both professional and personal skills can be mentioned. They are shown above the counter because they are visible to the team in daily work. Despite being visible, there will almost always be a few surprises for a team in this category. In addition to the main skills, everyone has additional, often hidden skills, symbolized by their position below the market stall counter. These could be skills from a previous job or a position that are not used in the current team. They could also be skills mostly used in the person's spare time, like cooking, running or conquering the world in strategy games. In this section, it is often fun and eye-opening to include skills that might surprise the rest of the team. And who knows, maybe those great skills can be put to use in the team or they might just start a nice conversation. The final section consists of skills the team members would like to improve. It can be skills from the two other sections or something completely different. With the exercise explained, give the team 10 to 15 minutes to make their market stall. When they are done, they should be placed somewhere in the room so that everyone can see them. Next, the team members take turns presenting their stalls to the team, beginning with the main skills above the counter and ending with potential improvement areas. During the improvement areas, other team members are encouraged to offer their assistance if they can help with any of the desired improvement areas. Or maybe they are interested in improving the same skills and can assist each other. Repeat until everyone has presented. You now have a great overview of what skills are available in the team. This exercise is great because it always reveals new competence areas in the team, both professional and private. 